Welcome guys, now let's start our remaining components of the HP transmission systems. Uh, the other components are reactive power supplies, electrodes, DC lines, AC circuit breakers. So first we will start with reactive power supplies. Under steady state condition, the reactive power consumed by the converter is about 50% of the active power transferred. Under transient condition, it could be much higher. Reactive power is therefore provided near the converters. For a strong AC power system, this reactive power is provided by a shunt capacitor. So this is all about the reactive power systems. We will discuss this in detail in the later stages. Uh, next item is electrodes. Electrodes are conductors that provide connection to earth for neutral. They have large surface to minimize current densities and surface voltage gradients. So this is another component of the DC system. Then we have DC lines. They may have maybe overhead lines or cables. DC lines are very similar to AC lines. So they are very similar to AC and could be cables or overhead lines. Then we have AC circuit breakers. They used to clear faults in transformer and for taking the DC link out of the service. They, they are not used for clearing DC faults. DC faults are cleared by converter control more rapidly. So in this section you, you can see this components breakers are installed at AC side. You can see. These are used to break the current whereas if there is a fault on in DC, DC side then you can see that there is no breaker installed here. The DC faults are uh, clear uh, by converter control systems. Here you can see the electrode which is installed and it is creating a reference point, common point for the DC network. So this is the electrode and this is you can see here it is a transmission line this is the smoothing reactor so these are the components so far that we have discussed for our DC system thank you mm -hmm.